Hello. Welcome to the Smile Revolution Show. And this is my mini me. We are here to welcome you. I haven't actually, I was on a hiatus for a couple weeks. Well, two and a half weeks after uh, 113 shows. And uh, so I just took a little bit of a break and rethinking some things. And uh, anyway, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. I haven't gotten dressed up like this in a while. And uh, I'm wearing false eyelashes. I have not worn these in years. So it's kind of fun, actually. I can see why women wear them. It actually is very, like, dramatic and fun and kind of like, hmm, looks, it does look pretty. So Richard Skipper says, hello, happy Saturday to you. Thanks for coming. And uh, so we raise awareness to the healing power of a genuine smile. I don't smile all the time. It's about giving and receiving smiles. And so sometimes you need to remind me to smile, right? So we all have challenges and uh, especially in a pandemic, but um, we're working through it here and focusing on gratitude. Now, today is my baking show. I'm, I have a recipe from Carney Wilson. She has a company, a, a bakery in Oregon, and she, uh, it's called Love Bites by Carney. And uh, she is, uh, she was in the, she's, she was famous for the band Wilson Phillips years ago. And her father was, is, is her father is Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys name. And uh, she, I connected with her through Stevie Kalinich, who I'm going to play one of his uh, songs today with Dave, um, Dave Humphreys. And uh, I don't know, I'm all connecting everybody because I met, I met, um, I haven't met Carney, but I connected with her work through Stevie and the Nick Guzman. I'm playing some of his music today and he has a birthday concert tonight on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So I'm playing a couple of his songs Okay, so, which goes with what I'm doing. Okay, so um, I'm going to do my quotes first, and then we're going to start baking. I already have my oven preheated, and we're doing peanut butter, chocolate chip, flourless cookies. They're amazing. I tested them out the other day, and it's hard to believe there's no flour. So they're amazing. So anyway, I'll give you all the recipe if you're interested, but I want to do some quotes first. Okay, so I found this book recently, Kindness Every Day. It's a journal. And uh, let's see. So, um, okay. Louisa May Alcott says, kind deeds often come back to the givers in fairer shapes than they go. And uh, let's see. Age doesn't matter unless you're a cheese. Catherine and Ross Petras, Wisdom from Our Elders. Director Ella Kazan said, the real challenge is not simply to survive. Hell, anyone can do that. It's to survive as yourself, undiminished. And then actress, writer Ruth Gordon, discussing how old you are is the temple of boredom. Okay, well, I say we're ageless and eternal. I'm an ageless wonder and so are you. And um, let's see what else. In the tiny book of tiny pleasures, Irene Smith and Astrid Vanderholst. Walt Whitman said, I have perceived that to be with those I like is enough. And then here's a picture of cat and dog. I love being with my Tiggy. Actually, I'm writing a song. I'm learning guitar with my husband, Roland, and I'm actually writing a song about my cat, Tiggy, and Roland, my husband, who was my husband and now is my husband. So um, it's actually, I'm just, it's kind of fun. And Rowan's helping me finish it. So it's exciting. Okay. Thank you, Ron, Donna. I appreciate it. Tiggy's not going to be on today though. I know she always asks about Tiggy. So um, let's see here. Now, the world according to Mr. Rogers. It's no secret that I like to get to know people. Not, and not just the outside stuff of their lives. I like to try to understand the meaning of who people are and what they're saying to me. Where's Tiggy? She's in the closet. You know, she's in her cave. All of us at some time or other need help. Whether we're giving or receiving help, each one of us has something valuable to bring to the world. That's one of the things that connects us as neighbors. In our own way, each one of us is a giver and a receiver. <clears throat> okay. I could, I mean, everything that he says, 
Mr. Rogers is wonderful. The Book of Happy, 255 Ways, 255 Ways to a Happier You. Seneca, Roman philosopher. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to reset, to sorry, to re rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient for he that is so wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. Isn't that good? Okay, now, I think we're good with my quotes. Okay, so here we go. Now, uh, you do, okay, I did half the recipe the other day, so I'm doing the other half. So you, okay, so it's two cups of chunky peanut butter. I'm doing one cup today because I did the other half. Let me show them to you. Okay, if you can see them here. Oh, my God, you can't believe it. There's no flour. It's amazing. It's incredible, and they're so good. Okay people who are gluten-free and stuff, it's good. Okay. Or if you like peanut butter and chocolate, which I do. Okay. Brown sugar, eggs, baking soda, sea salt, vanilla, peanut butter chips, and, cho and milk chocolate chips. Now you like the quotes? Oh, good. Okay, good. All right. Now, so I'm doing, since I'm having the recipe, I'm doing one cup of pe chunky peanut butter. And uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I have to do? Okay. I need to play you a song while I'm doing this. Okay. Nick Guzman, who I adore. I met him from Stevie Kalinich. Uh, they're all based in L.A. Um, he, I've had him on my show a couple times. I'm going to play Haute Cuisine because it goes with cooking and baking. Okay, here we go. Well, let's see. I'm gonna see. Hopefully, you can hear it. I love, I love his music, and he's so great. He's a great guy. Okay, I'm gonna do my brown sugar now. One cup, because I'm having everything. Okay. Doing an egg. I love me some Gumby wants to say hi and give you a big hug. Vanilla. Half a teaspoon because I'm having it. Sea salt. I'm just guessing. Baking soda. I think it's two teaspoons. I'm doing one teaspoon. One teaspoon I'm doing. Yeah. All right, now, don't you, I love this song. Here's my, my shoe calendar of the day, of the weekend, from 2017. All right, let me make sure I didn't miss, I have to do my chips now, wait a minute. Baking soda, eggs, brown sugar, peanut butter, and then peanut butter chips and milk chocolate chips. That's it. See, it's, it's really pretty easy. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I love this song so much. Oh, wait. Let me put their um, information on here. So Nick Guzman wrote this, and he's singing it. I'm playing guitar. All right, now, 
I'm gonna put my chips in. It was hard to find peanut butter chips, so it only came like this. Peanut butter and milk chocolate together, but it's fine. Me, my jelly. I love me some whole I got this gift from my from my neighbor's granddaughter. She made this for me. Isn't that pretty? And you only bake it for seven minutes on 350. And I put parchment paper down on the cookie sheet. I'm wearing this outfit because Frock Up Friday, if you saw my show, Frockers Up in, in England, this week's theme is the 60s. So this is kind of late 60s, early 70s. So I kind of, and I did my out false eyelashes, which I don't know, I may start wearing them more on my show and in person shows too. Okay, my next show, my next song, I mean, my next song is written by Stevie Kalinich and Dave Humphreys, sung by Nick Guzman, and um, it's uh, Yellow Shoes, which I love this song, and it's gotten me into now, I have two pairs of yellow shoes. I love yellow shoes now. Okay, here we go. Just a ha it's a happy song. I feel like dancing, and I, I can't get the song out of my head. Yellow shoes, yellow shoes. I got my yellow shoes. That's the latest news. And if you get sad and you have the blues, just go dancing in your yellow shoes. Too tight. You wear them in bed all through the night. In the morning, you go walking for miles and miles. I'm just stirring this a lot because it's with the peanut butter, it's a little tricky. Yellow shoes, yellow shoes. I want you to know that's the latest news. If you get sad and you have the blues. Just go dancing in the yellow shoes. I think I'm at pain now. Now then you have the blues, dear friend, good news, yellow shoes, you can wear them too, get a new perspective on the sea by view, yellow shoes, yellow shoes, I want you to know what's the latest news. If you get sad and you have the blues, just go dancing in your yellow shoes. Okay, so seven minutes. I hope you like those songs. And um, so seven minutes, and uh, which is short, and it's only three fifty. But I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so flower. Or I don't know. I'm not sure what, but it works. And um, so let's see now. Um, 
was I going to tell you? Okay. So then my next thing is, this is my website. Oh, and here's my mugs. If anybody wants to get a mug, my smile revolution to support the smile revolution. May you give and receive many smiles. And um, let's see. And um, going forward, um, I am thinking about, uh, I'm up in Woodstock on Sundays. So I'm thinking about doing, I think I will. Sundays in Woodstock, give you a tour of Woodstock. I don't know about every Sunday, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But I am pretty much on Sundays um, now going forward, spring, summer, fall in Woodstock. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. And I know a lot of people, I used to live there and I might run into people I know or just like give you a tour of like what's going on in Woodstock. I thought that'd be fun. And um, and let's see, I'm th rethinking my show, doing shorter shows. I want to do like half hour shows, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm working all this stuff out as I'm kind of rethinking my show. Um, but I want to do more of my solo shows, but I'm going to still do interviews, but maybe not as much. I have an interview next Saturday at 4 Eastern time with Randy Mia, writer, performer, blogger, on-air commentator, Huffington Post, ABC News, NPR, comedian. Um, she, uh, during the pandemic in New York City, she became a pandemic dance, dancing in the streets. Like she would dress up in all these outrageous costumes and um, uplift the essential workers and help them smile. And she made the NBC, NBC News. Um, they did a whole feature uh, on her doing it. And it's just so amazing. That's how we connected was through because of that. Um, so Sumitsuki Sumitsu uh, connected us because she thought she she makes she helps people smile. And then um, I have another interview the following week, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm just letting you all know that I'm just kind of rethinking my show or I don't know. We'll see how it all unfolds. And, um, but it's, it's really great to be back and I want to do some more live, <laughs> live shows soon. Would love a tour of Woodstock. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that. And uh, who's, I, I want it because Woodstock, Barisal Theater has a new owner and they've redone it. It's like amazing. And so one day, one Sunday, I'll be at the Barisal Theater going through, showing you what's happening there. And um, so um, we'll see. So it's going to be fun. And that's what I'm doing. So um, thank you all for watching live. If you have any questions or you want to post photos of people smiling, we got to continue the smile revolution through this pandemic waning. Well, not everywhere, but um, it'd be good to have, you know, there's one of my guests actually at the end of the month, he, he started, Dave Essel, he started a hundred day smile campaign. And so that's why I, somebody connected me uh, with him. So he's doing, he he's encouraging people to post smile pictures of themselves smiling or animals smiling or whoever you want to post smiling. So if you want to do that, that'd be great either here or I love the recipe. Yeah, I'm going to post the recipe for you. And um, okay, thanks. Oh, good. I'm glad. It sounds great. We'll post. Yes, Abby, I will post the recipe. And um, so I will be seeing you shortly. And I love you all. <clears throat> Have a good rest of your weekend wherever you are in the world. And uh, keep smiling. Keep sweet. Join the smile revolution. And I have to post my, yeah, it's there. Okay, great. Okay, see you soon. Bye.